How's it going everybody? So I got electric fence up cutting the you know, farm area in half and I let the goats loose. They're all looking around figuring out what they want to eat and avoiding the electric fence so I think the training worked out. With how dry my soil is, I ended up doing eight strands of wire. Now I'm, they're all separated, and they're going, you know, hot ground, hot ground, all the way down. Over here, I have all of them wired up. It's not going to show up all that well but the yellows are all the grounds and the whites are all hot. That way there's some separation between the two. That they're spreading out. Daffodil is going after what she normally eats, which is the grass hay. That's where the grass hay was being stored and you know, they're having a ball. That gate is open. They've they've already gone munched down quite a bit. I gave them a light breakfast this morning, so they'd be plenty hungry to want to come out. They still have to go inside the thing to get their water. They're gonna get a good chunk of their water from the foliage that they're eating. So, instead of making up a fancy gate so that I could pass through and all that fun stuff, what I'd done is took a movable gate panel, set that up, and didn't quite, didn't quite cover up the gap, so I took, you know, it ends up being a piece of an old futon, but I use it as a kind of a corralling panel, and I tied that up. Now, in the back corner over there, there is a regular six-foot fence panel to keep the goats from just passing behind and getting out that way. And around here, around the blackberries, I went and strung up, or I had my little brother set up the uh, movable fence panels around the blackberries. Because, well, I'd like to keep these protected. Oh. Any branch that's poked through even a little bit has been munched down because for some reason blackberries are a favorite thing of goats and deer. They'll both eat it. But they've got enough to keep them busy for a few weeks. And we'll see how they do. They're going to be eating and pooping and fertilizing and clearing and you know, this is how you put goats to work I guess. They're gonna clean up the mess of the hay. They're gonna clean up all of the manzanita and the sagebrush and trim up all the oaks. Clear off the tops of the oaks that are there. I still have to go through and put a cage around the uh, Hawthorn over here, but aside from that, they're good. It'll take them a bit to even get to the Hawthorn, much less eat it down. So I got some time to do that. But, yeah, they're happy as a clam right now. 
All right, that's all I got for this one. Y'all have fun. Bye. If you like the videos that I've been making, please consider liking, subscribing. If you want to help out personally, I set up a Patreon, and the link will be in the description.